Hello. My name is Alex, and I am here to t talk to you about Elmo. You know, Elmo, the little red monster on Sesame Street? Yeah. Oh, where do I begin? I respect him, but at the same time, I despise him. We all remember back in 1997, the Tickle Me Elmo doll thing during Christmas time. People were kicking the crap out of each other to get these dolls for their kids. And most of the kids didn't get the dolls because, oh, who knows why, or because uh, they ran out, or... That's when people started hating Elmo, I believe. But back in my day, when I was about three, Sesame Street was the best. I mean, Big Bird, Cookie Monster, Ernie, Bert... The Count, all those guys, they were classics. And Kermit was still on there, too. You guys remember Kermit, don't you? Anyways, uh... Well, then Elmo, he basically took over the show, and he has his own 15-minute segments on there. Like, why? I mean, why would you... I'm not trying to put him down. I mean, I've been a fan of the Muppets for a long time, but... Elmo, words cannot describe how Elmo annoys me. Uh, but it, truthfully, I think Elmo should stop. Because, well, people are claiming, well, recently there's been a thing for public schools like, oh, the kids are stupid, you know, and like, they can't learn. Well, it's because I'm not pointing fingers at Elmo, but it's just that his baby talk, you know, it's like, Elmo loves to do this. You know, kids won't learn to, why do kids need to learn to speak in third person? I ask you. In conclusion, well, anyways, I hate to say this, but I think Sesame Street needs to, Stop. I need to, I think it needs to put the brakes on, put it in park, and close the garage door. Uh, figuratively speaking. It had, it had its run, and I think, well, it's over. Thank you for listening, America. Godspeed.